Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I'm Admiral Funko and before we even get into this video, there's a link down below to my other YouTube channel because now I have a gaming channel. It's in the beginning works, okay? And just go check it out. Gaming channel called Admiral Funko Plays because that is my brand is Admiral Funko. So go check it out. So of course, welcome back to my channel, and hold on, hold on. Sorry, hold on, hold on, hold on, I gotta just, now it's center. I need it to be symmetry. So of course, I've been absent on YouTube for a little bit. I've been, hence why there's a gaming channel now, because why should I play a video game constantly without making something of it? So, yes. I have been working tirelessly on working on my dual master's degree and I'm also an essential person because I'm a also security forces and I work in a health clinic. So, yay. But I'm tired of reinventing the wheel when it comes to Funko Pop reviews. If you go on YouTube right now, you top, type in Funko Pop review, you got 8 million channels that can do a Funko Pop review. And I was trying to become unique to myself when I myself am unique. I am strange and unusual. So I told myself that I should literally just set my camera up in the pop room and riff it every single time. And that's what you guys are gonna see. So this new series is called Random Pop of the Day, where you won't know what pop I'm gonna be reviewing until, you know, you watch the video for at least two minutes because, you know, I like to ramble, I like to ramble. So I will be picking a random pop from my bedroom, which is now the pop room slash bedroom slash the room that nothing exciting happens in aside from sleeping. And I'll be picking one pop and talking about that pop. It could be any pop. It could be from that wall, this wall, any wall. It could be from anywhere. I could have just bought the pop. But we all know that buying pops right now is off the table. So I'm just going to pick a random pop. I'm going to talk to you about its value, its detail, and just overall show you the pop. And I don't even know what pop we're reviewing right now. So welcome to the debut album of Random Pop of the Day. And yes, I said debut album because, you know, albums change. And we go a whole new direction. Taylor Swift was country and now she's pop. You never know what's gonna happen on this channel, ever. And I know, consistency is key. But you know, it wouldn't be me if there wasn't consistency, right? All right, so I'm just gonna go pick a random pop. I don't know which pop I'm gonna do, and then we're gonna talk about it. So for our debut episode of Random Pop of the Day, this is gonna be a thumbnail picture too, and I'm gonna blur this thing out. Brienne of Tarth, ooh, ooh. Brienne of Tarth. All right, so I know there's gonna be a question of what collections are behind me real quick. I got Disney, Doctor Who, some anime, Walking Dead, and Game of Thrones. Hence why Brienne kind of got plucked because she was literally right there. And she's one of the interesting ones, one of the ones of value to pluck from the collection. So if you guys don't know, Brienne of Tarth is awesome. And there's the review. She's awesome. Oh, that's custom. I hate custom. I hate customs. I hate them. I, like, so, Customs are, like I have a custom Funko Pop. I have a custom Albert Wesker, don't get me wrong. I love him, I paid for him because I had DC Douglas, who is the voice of Albert Wesker, sign the pop. But that was like a complete, I, I, I hate metallic repaints, you know? Or I had glow and it's custom and people are charging 60, 70 bucks for it. I'm gonna do a lot of glitter customization on this channel in the future and probably resell those pops and guess how much those pops are gonna be resold for $25 because that's the max with shipping included like, come on people like 60 bucks for a metallic repaint I get it that shit's expensive to buy and do and your time what's your time worth but at the same time like it's making ignorant people I'm not saying that all collectors are ignorant but people who are un accustomed to the collecting realm go and say oh there's a metallic variant to Brianna Tarth I'm gonna buy it and they're gonna waste their money and they're gonna be like oh there's not really a legitimate Funko created metallic Brianna Tarth why would why would she be metallic like that's not <sighs> but Brianna Tarth let's review this Funko Pop after that nice little rant I just had so this is the bloody variant of Brianna Tarth now the blood her sword is oof Wolf. We're gonna take her out of the box. So here's the box on the outside. I'm gonna take her out of the box. I have a cool story about this pop as well. So before she hit the market being worth 
because I just looked it up. She's about 250 to 300 depending on what market you buy her on, eBay, etc. blah, 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 blah. So, um, yes, I smell them. <laughs> Sometimes I pulled a pop out of the box once and the smell that came out of that box was ridiculous. So here's a close-up look of Brienne of Tarth. This is how I'm going to do this from now on. This is the debut album. Debut album. I said that before. Debut album. I don't know why I keep saying an album instead of episode, but deal with it. So this is how we're going to look at them from now on. Not doing anything fancy, but here you have what Funko used to, to look like. Very simple, like her hair, nothing, just th literally it's a piece of clay and you just niched it out. Like someone sculpted this. I'm like, oh, we'll put detail in her hair. Just... That's it. It's one of the things, like, I love that about earlier Funko Pops. I love the, the simplicity of them, but looking at some of the details of some of the newer Pops nowadays, they're fantastic. And I need to get the most recent Brianna Tarte just to compare. Like, this was you in 2012, this is you in 2020. You guys gonna, you guys gonna get the unfiltered of this whole thing and it's gonna be entertaining to me when I edit it. So hopefully it's entertaining to you. But there she is. She does have paint flaws. She has nicks and dings. She's never been taken out of the box till this moment. So, but she is, you know, this is what we got in 2013 was, you know, a bloody variant of Brianna Tarth. Released the Hot Topic. The details are there. Blood variants, of course, are just literally that of red paint. That's what you get from them. But it's really a unique piece to have in the collection, especially after I, I started collecting early in the game and then watching collectors nowadays say, hey, I found a grail. And I'm like, this is your grail? I love it. I love it when I was like, this is your grail. Isn't she so cute? She's like the perfect grail, Brianna Tarth. So like I said earlier, the value is around 250 for this pop. Great pop to have in your collection. Honestly, when, it talk, when I start talking about value and if it's worth buying to put into your collection, I say that the, the value of something is what you perceive it to be. So if you really want this Brianna Tarth, Tarth pop and you want to save up and you you have $500 to spend and you want to waste half it on a Brianna Tarth pop go go for it like this is a great piece to have in the collection I think everybody who offed their Game of Thrones collection because Game of Thrones failed so miserably is gonna regret it when they re-release more Game of Thrones content in the future I think I like Game of Thrones yes the ending was shit but like I just I wasn't like I'm just gonna get rid of my whole collection ruined it for me like i'm just gonna sell all these pops while they're still worth it those are the people that you can tell aren't in it for the collecting they're in it for the investment but there you have it ladies and gentlemen brianna of tarth she's great she's worth it having your collection i love having her in my collection and if you want her in your collection buy her have her she's great i keep saying she's great because she is great who doesn't love brianna of tarth so that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoy. I hope you guys love seeing me back behind the camera. And I am going to be doing this as much as I possibly can. Please check out my gaming channel. The link will be in the description below. And I will see you guys again tomorrow for another random pop of the day. Because it's going to be random. I'm just going to start plucking. I'm going to start plucking. And you guys are going to start seeing little, little post-it notes on the pops that I've done. Because I'll forget. And it wasn't center! Now that I'm looking at it, it wasn't center. It wasn't center at all. It's like, it just needs to be just, just a little bit like that. Hold on, let me look. Now it's failed. The whole video is a fail now because, you know, I don't know how to center things. It's all about lighting, position, location, content. You know, I think I'm hilarious. If you guys don't think I'm hilarious, then why are you here? Because I make myself laugh and that's what's important. <laughs>